Hello, and welcome to RDC Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the full text of an article that you've found in one of our databases. Let's get started. All right, so once you're in a database and you've done your searching, there are three different ways that you can actually access the full text of the article to read. So if I'm scrolling through my results, you'll start to see that there's these little icons for PDF full text, requesting the item, um, and this full text finder. So let's go over these different options. So in the first case, if you see the PDF full text of the article, that means that you can click on that and it is going to open up the full article for you to read. So this is great news. I can see I've got my article. A lot of the time there's gonna be an option to download the article or potentially to email it to yourself. So here is my article. In other cases, however, you're gonna see this little full text finder. And what that is saying is that we don't actually have the PDF full text in this particular database. However, this little tool is gonna to search all of our other database resources for you. It's kind of saving you time so you don't have to, to see if we have that full text somewhere else. So let's give it a try. Once I click the full text finder, it's going to uh, pull up a screen that looks like this. Up at the top, you're going to see some information about the article that you're requesting. So I can see the article title, I can see the author, the name of the journal, the volume, the issue, and the year it was published. Underneath, I can see this find it at Red Deer College and you might see one or more links to that article depending on how many places it lives in our resources. In this case, there's only one, so that's the one I'm going to go to. The other thing that's important to note is if it mentions a date range. So in this case, we have access from 1996 to present in this particular journal. And since this article was published in 2020, that means that we should have access. So I'm gonna click on this link. So here you can see we've been pulled into another library resource. Here's the article and here's the PDF. So it does look a little bit different, but those pieces should be there. So going back to our search then, what is the last option? The last option you may come across is this request this item through interlibrary loan. And so what that is saying is that we don't have this article at all. However, the good news is, is that if this article looked like something that was really good, was gonna be helpful for your assignment, you can click on this link. It's gonna take you to a page where you would log in with your barcode and PIN. So the same pieces of information you would need to access articles from off campus. And then there would be a little bit of a form to fill out about your resource. Once completed, that form would go to an area that would go out and see if they could find that article for you. And usually within three to five working days, that article would be delivered to you via email. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer, depending on where we have to go to find the article. And sometimes we can't fulfill the request at all. So the important thing to note here is that it is free for you as a student, so do take advantage of the service if it looks like it's gonna be a good article for your research. However, this isn't something you're gonna to wanna to use if you're doing your research the night before because that won't allow for enough time for the request to be fulfilled. So there you have it. Your three main ways to get to the article is if the PDF, immediate access, the full text finder, which goes and searches our other resources to see if we have full text somewhere else, and that option to request the item through an interlibrary loan. When you have questions, don't worry, you can always contact the library desk and we're more than happy to help. Thank you.